Okay, how about another time around? Um, and yes, it's hard to get excited about a game that's just really so abstract. It, all I've got is the moves to look at. Uh, okay. So, and it's not a bad game. I, I enjoy it. It's just, it's not something that's easy to do on video. Even if I kind of would enjoy it solo, I think, without the video. Let's see what we got. Blue has the humanoids. Where does he want to go? Kind of wants to share in with people, but he doesn't want to push into that too hard. This looks like the most valuable place he can actually go. I'm going to continue pushing forward into these sixes. Take what I can. Now that's my second green. No one else has two. So I've taken the supplenty. And now I get a red band here. Now, Red could steal this immediately. Let me point uh, if this band wasn't here. He could put a single base here that would fill this up, make it ready for military conquest, and then it would he would get that colony immediately. If that was a valuable colony, it might be worth that effort. Uh, two plays to get that colony. Oh, well, one play but one of his bases. It also would put a base in an interesting place. Unfortunately, he's got a band there now, so he can't. And that's often the case is uh, the band ends up showing up where somebody just played, which means an opportunity to take that area over disappears. I think this is over here. I can't tell. These bands are too big. Um, Okay, what is red looking at? Well, they don't have any powers that they're aiming for or that they have right now. They may want to aim for one. They've got some red, really some of four different things. Uh, the crystallins are locked in at two. That's not going to be an easy fight. The humanoids at two. The hive looks like it's at one. So I could actually expand down to a hive, and that may not be a bad move to grab control of a nice chip, a, a nice power. Um, the final ones, the, var the Wargers, which are locked in at two, so I can't grab that. So there become two options here. Do I want to get a claim on the hive, which is a nice one, or do I want to go for more points, say here or here? There aren't a lot of valuable hive points. This is about as good as it gets. Mm. It's, hard, it's a hard decision which way to go. Whether I want to go for value. I'm going to go for the value. Now that just opened this up for potential conquest, which could be interesting to whoever the next player is. Okay, that, except it's got my ban over there, so that goes away. Okay, so now there are some conquest opportunities, and the Vargas are very interested in this. They're going to move their military unit, in, their ship in. Drop a military unit. We had conquest. This isn't terribly valuable, but the reason that I'm doing this is I have these wargers and I want to get um, the most bases. So the conquest is that resolved immediately, or is it the die roll? The die roll happens before the conquest does. So now I get a green ban here. But that doesn't prevent the conquest from taking place. Uh, so, 
this is the area being assessed. I take it over and now I have an additional green. That puts me at two green. Blue just lost one. He's only at one. I have taken the supplente over, which isn't exactly what I wanted, you know, there, but I wanted the territorial gain uh, more than anything else. And by placing a base cleverly, you get that immediately. That puts it over to the green player. The green player does not see any such opportunities uh, to grab a base. And uh, so something like this, if he fills this, it can immediately be conquered by yellow now. That's kind of a an annoyance there. Ooh, yellow also has the crystalloids. Whoa. They're really piling it on, aren't they? Okay, they're looking a little threatening actually with all that. So Green would like to do something about that situation. I'm not quite sure what to do. I have the hive which is appealing but could be taken from me. There's people who are tied for me with that. And I kind of want to hold on to the hive. This is a two. There's a four. I'm going to expand to there, but where am I going to move? Because there's no no military base option that I really want. See, I have presence in these directions. I don't down this way. I drop my hive here. And that gets my ban. Now what's kind of interesting here is trying to hold on to multiple of these is going to be hard. You can defend one pretty easily. You might be able to defend two. But three of them is getting really rough. Somebody's going to be able to take. So I have to kind of make my choices. Now I'm not terribly interested in this one. And I'm really not terribly interested in this one. It's the crystalloids that I want to defend. Uh, and that's of course the one that other people probably most want to take from me. But that's where we are. All right. Okay, Blue's going to grab points. They're going to slide into here. And pick this sucker up. It solidifies their hold on... <coughs> the humanoids, excuse me, and that, although it doesn't help towards their victory conditions, and this location is very unlikely to be a valuable one where other people are going to be sharing with them still, and they pick up a ban there, which is important because somebody could have come in and dropped a military base there. That's one of the things in the game, when you go into a place like that, you see right away that red could go in and take it. And what do you do? Well, you got cards that can protect you, but only for one turn. So that was kind of maybe a dumb move. But it's hard to balance all these things out. For red, red would like something. <laughs> Pretty much anything. They don't have any of these special power cards. Uh, they're spread between all five different types. <laughs> That can't be good. Uh, points that are near them that they can go for. I don't see a lot. I think they're going to drift back this way because they want to be around their stuff to protect it with military bases. And as to actual growth, I had found something valuable. Oh yes, they can conglomerate in here. That's good if they end up getting the hive. They don't have it right now and there doesn't seem to be much potential for that. But it's their best point space so they'll go for it. And we roll the magic die. Looks like they get a card play. At least four colonies in vicinity. Hmm. Get 
this space would qualify, but there's no rival there, so they can't really do that. What about the wormhole? Move anywhere they like. Discard the card. Is there somewhere they'd really like to be? Are there good points that they're missing out on? Not terribly. So I'm going to draw another card. You can see these event cards, maybe I'm playing poorly, but they're not influencing my play terribly much. Because you never know when you're going to get a shot at it, so you can't count on it. Likewise, though, like Blue did this b bad move. Now, two-thirds of the time he'll get a ban there, though, so it won't immediately affect him. And Red moved away. Okay, what about Yellow? Uh, Yellow's got all these different things. They've got the Wargers, the Saplenti, and the Crystalloids. They'd like to keep the Crystalloids. That's the thing they most want to work towards. I think... Points are becoming... And they kind of like to keep the Wargers if they're going to be defending a lot of stuff. So, I think I'm going to head this way, because there are Crystalloids and Vargers in here, and more importantly, base opportunities. I don't want to drop a base quite yet. Um, if I put this here, if someone goes for this, I get this. Uh, if someone drops a base here, they have to drop a level one, and that doesn't change the matter of anything. So that looks like a fairly safe play for me. And it solidifies one of my holdings. And I, too, get a card play. Got this force field. I don't think that works for me. An incomplete sector that has at least one of my bases in the vicinity. The most valuable rival with my own. Well, that sounds like fun. I'm going to go for this one. It's incomplete. It has at least one of my bases in the vicinity. And I've taken uh, a bonus seven point area, uh, which is kind of nice. And now we go to green. And green's got to think how they're going to improve their situation. There's no military opportunity here. Uh, green only really... Uh, I got two of these set, uh, crystalloids. Yellow's only got two. I'm gonna grab the crystalloids back. That sounds good. I think they transfer immediately. And my ban goes into place. Now this just got militarily uh, activated, or will, um, but there are no bases next to it, so I don't lose it. If there, if there had been like the yellow base there, I would lose it immediately and I couldn't go in there. All right. Alrighty, so now Blue's extensions aren't going into too many very interesting places. And here's where kind of a question starts to come, whether or not you want to expand or build military bases. To me, an expansion into here won't cost me much. I'm already up here, so I'm going to head this way. I don't think I really need a base there. But if I do, I'm going to be the person. I'm, I'm still in position to place it. And let's see. The reason I can play here, it doesn't matter. Whoever puts a base in here or whoever finishes this off, I'm not going to lose my two-point area for it, probably. And my band goes there. 
Now this is open for bases again. I could jump in and base it, or I could just colonize it, which would do just as well. Uh, someone else, if they could move there, could base it, but that's probably not too valuable unless they have a card to do so. Okay, so we go on to red. Red has no special abilities. And I think they're just going to play for points at this point. Unless there's a base that they particularly see available, which they don't. Uh, I feel like I'm heading in this direction. This base might be of interest to me. Probably not, because there's already a yellow base up here. As soon as this falls, yellow gets control. Now that's actually the problem with blue's choice. Yellow has the two most valuable places. If yellow places here, they also get that one. And then if they can get the hive, that becomes a very valuable location for them. But we're not counting on that. Oh, so now where does red want to push into? Red's got the possibility to go for this. That would give them their second green. Other people have two greens. Uh, actually three greens. Um, I could push into red. And that would actually only be my first red. But that would get me into maybe new areas. Not terribly. Ugh. I think I'll hive it up, even though I'm not going to get the hive. This doesn't help me get the hive. Uh, I think that at five points is worth grabbing compared to anything else. And that's going to be my ban over there. Puts it on yellow. <laughs> Yellow's got contradictory abilities. Uh, if I put a base here, I'm the only person with bases, I'll get this. But I'll also get it if I put a colony there. So that's tempting. Where do I want to move? Looks like there's expansion opportunities down this way. I'll drop this in. I get a die roll which is a card. I'm not going to play Forest Field. I'm, those are hard for me to judge, so I get a wormhole, which can be useful perhaps. And now this has to be evaluated, and it gets evaluated in yellow's favor, so they get the highest value colony uh, that's available there as a conquest. So their single base is actually paying off quite nicely for them so far. Uh, and now to green. Green has the yummy crystalloids for now. Well, I'm not quite sure how. Because they only have two. And yellow has two. I may have cheated, but on the other hand, maybe something changed color. I have no way of being sure. But I suspect myself strong. Oh no, there's the third one. Okay. Uh, so, any great opportunities? There's a yummy one right here. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to drop my own base. And that allows me... We're not done yet. Ah, uh, we got to roll the die before this takes effect. I get a card play. I don't have a card, so I have to draw one. Mm, force field. But now this gets evaluated, yellow loses it, and a green base shows up there. Now that has changed the nature of the Saplenti. I have two, yellow has two, and no one else does. I just wanted to check to see if it didn't change hands, because actually the guy who held it lost one, and I gained one. All right, All right. well, let's continue on with the blue. Remember what I'm doing. Um, they don't have sort of a quick opportunity to bonus themselves. They could, of course, throw a piece in there and force that to be resolved, protecting their six pointer. 
That may be their best move. But there aren't many people there right now. And who knows, maybe the opportunity will never come when there's a problem. So, Although that's unlikely. But you are limited by counter mix, which means in two players, the board actually doesn't necessarily get filled up. I think in four it will. I get a card play. Uh, a sector with where I have no colonies or military bases, I can colonize the least valuable system in that sector. That's appealing. A sector for which I hold the lo loyalty pledge. Turn a base into a colony in that. So, I only hold the loyalty pledge for the humanoids and there are no bases there, so I can forget that. question is the discovery. Um, there are good places I can go with this. I'm in the crystallins. It would be kind of neat to go further into the crystallins. I'm going to... I could take a three-pointer. There are a f couple of places maybe where that exists. But instead, well, wait, this is a drop down to one. That's, that's going a bit far. Yeah. I think that three-pointer may be my best move. You know, you got this choice between points or uh, tactical location. This doesn't get me anywhere interesting, though. This does, and it gets me a crystalline. I'm going to go for the crystallines, I think. It gets me into another area that's more interesting. So now that puts me to two crystallines. Uh, I think other people have at least that many. Green, for example, has three. So I'm not getting control of anything. But I like them. And if I can build that up, that might be helpful to me. Okay. Now, did I trigger something? No. So we go to red. Ah. Red has no immediate triggers available. Although they're close to being able to cause one here, which is intriguing. But the problem is green already has the level one base there. If I put a level one base there, then neither, nothing happens, which doesn't really help me. If I put a level 2 base there, green still gets the advantage because there are no other level 1s. So there's this constant questing for where you want the value to be. So, this is intriguing. I'm going to start heading out towards blue there, and I'm going to drop a red in here. That gets me a second green which means I have to compete. Does yellow have two greens? And they do. So that's not an issue. I forgot to roll the die. And I get a card play. Okay, my card play. Cultural takeover. At least four colonies in the vicinity. Now I think the ban prevents any action, but I'm not positive of that. It's one of the problems here. Let's see. It can't be selected if it's uh, got a force field, but maybe the band doesn't provide protection. Let's see. I'm trying to find the rules on the band. You see they mentioned the bands here, but the actual rules on them are probably under the colony. You can't build if there's a band. Okay, but I can do these cultural takeovers or rebellions if I hold the loyalty pledge. I don't hold a loyalty pledge. So let's look at that cultural takeover thing. Uh, I could get a three-pointer and a crystalline Take that away from green. I'm going to go for that. And we replace that with that. We've got a ban in place. And... <laughs> I 
We also just gained a crystalline. The only real issue there is did green lose the crystallines? They're down to two. Yellow is at two. Blue is at two. And red is at two. So everybody's tied on them now, which means uh, no effect there. Uh, this did not just get filled, so there's no military takeover possibility from that. It's only when you build that there's that possibility. So we go over to the yellows. And the yellows. Possibility for military action here, but again, green has the advantage. What I could do is build a base out here, positioning myself to build a two-point base here. That's a lot of advanced planning, but with the Wargers, that may be worthwhile. On the other hand, I can also expand into a three area. I've got a four here. So I don't think that a base is necessarily what I, that a, a base is what I want to do. I'm going to keep myself in this area though. I don't think that's terrible as a location. And that'll be my ban moved over here. And now finally green. Well, green has an interesting situation where if they grab this, they get the military advantage, they get a one point area, which is kind of good because they're crystalloids. However, I would also like to expand my crystalloids. Ugh, painful choices. But I'm going to go for this because I think it's a nice defensive play that gets me that sector rather cheaply. Oops, that doesn't take place quite yet. I gotta roll my dice first. I got a card play. My force field, that could have delayed me a turn. An alien embassy I draw, a colony on anyone, loyalty pledge, la la la. All right. All right, let's see what's blue up to now. Humanoids. Uh, urging their way into things. No clear places where they can grab a base, but I've got to worry about this because red is getting closer. It's not an immediate concern. Um, I have to use my ship to put bases where I'm liable to want to. I'll start shifting into that area. So I think that's where I'm going to be militarily more advantageous. But now, if I can get an additional crystalline, I think that or crystalloid, I think that puts me in the lead for them. So green has one, two. I have two. Yellow has two. Red has one. So I'm gonna slip into here. This is a 4.1. It's next to one of my colonies. That gives me that extra advantage. Now, I don't have a lot of one-point areas, but that's okay. They'll become valuable later on. And then I get to put a red band there. Now, the red band is less valuable than the blue band because the blue band can't possibly move until the green player, but the red band can move on the red player's turn. And that's kind of the only effect of the die roll here. Um, on to red. Do they want to push for this? That'll force blue to move into that space. I won't really necessarily gain anything unless blue doesn't notice. Alternatively, there's base possibilities over here which are in richer areas. Blue can also expand into that. He has no base next to him, so there's nothing that will force him to do that. I'm going to go for the more flexible position. I feel like I'm bouncing around, not really doing anything. That's a lot of what this game is like with the uh, with the spaceships. Uh, and red, well, can I gain anything? That's, that's kind of the question here. Hive, I've only got one. And this is the thing, you've got to check everybody's stuff every time. This is the problem I had with Pax Buffariana uh, the couple times I played it. 
I don't like having to be aware of everybody's pieces all the time. I can understand where some people would really enjoy that, but it is very irritating for me. Not just solitaire, but in a posed game. It's great in a two-player game. I can pay attention to two players, but paying attention to all this information. So, okay, there's three hives here, and I have one, I think, when I scan the board. Great. They don't seem like a good idea for me. What am I good at? Well, I have two greens, and there's a green here, a green here, a green here, a green here. I'm sorry, yellow has two greens, green has two greens. So I could actually probably take the green stuff. If I can find green stuff, there's a one over here that I could build in. Uh, I would immediately lose that to him. That wouldn't be terribly valuable. And all the others have been claimed except over here where I can't reach. So, okay, that's out of the question. So now we start looking at reds. You know, <laughs> do I have a lot of them? And the whole decision-making process just becomes too, way, too uh, weighed down in counting. Now, if you know me, you know I don't like counting a lot. And that is a real discouragement for this game in multiple players. I enjoyed it in two. I enjoyed it a decent amount. But it doesn't carry over well. So anyway, I'm going to give up on that. I don't think I can gain there. So I've got a four point location here. Of course, if I place this, somebody like Blue can immediately drop a base on it. Mm, that doesn't work. Uh-oh, I better save this. Well, nobody's there, nobody's near there yet, so I can kind of avoid doing that. All right. Uh, anything else of value anywhere? Well, what number's under here? There's a three here. That's not a terribly low number. Or I can spread out into this red area, getting into other directions. Okay, what did that red area do for me? Well, that brought me to my first red, I think. So I'm not going to gain anything there. Now I get to finally roll the die. You can see the amount of, uh, you know, calculation, counting, and all this, that, and the other. It's just too much for a game like this with nothing going on of interest. Uh, all it is, is trying to optimize and calculate. It is a Euro in very pure sense. Fun is an abstract game in two players. Once you start adding players, there's a lot of competitive aspect to this, which isn't in other Euros. Okay. Uh, we move on to the yellow player, and you can see why I'm having a hard time wanting to play because of these amount of calculations. Somehow, something like 18xx, which has all this information and richness going on, it doesn't bother me that there's these calculations because there's sense behind them. This there's not really. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense where my locations are in comparison to what I'm doing. I'm just doing a calculation and optimization of the game. That is all this is about. In which case, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't get me very far. Okay, what about building things here? Well, somehow Blue didn't see that. We get a card play. Now we got to think about these. All right, I got some crap, I don't know. I'll draw a card. Okay. All right, this is gonna convert over. And now, maybe I got the crystalloids over here, uh, because I just took one from blue. I'm at one, two, it's counting fun again, three, and a blue and green look like they're less. I think I get them back. And once again to three levels. Whoopee. <laughs> okay. <coughs> and the problem is this is actually fun in two players, but when you're trying to keep track of this many people it just bogs down into <sighs> all right so the answer of course is stop thinking you know stop doing what the game is about stop trying to win just play the game and that's what i end up doing with these and that's the only way i end up having any fun okay so green green's got a hive he wants to have these big collections like this that's great uh, but he has to hold on to his hive. He doesn't have it right now. Where does he want to go? Uh, no military bases available right now. He's going to head for hive land. And where does he want to spread to? 
Well, a three here doesn't look bad at all, but he could also go into hives. He's, all, he's got three hives. Nobody's really up there with him. So he could actually go for score instead. So where's worth being? <laughs> a three here. It's a three down here. The three here isn't safe because somebody could base in there. When you leave things open like uh, yellow did, you're at kind of a risk there. The crystalline base is interesting because I've already got a military base there. Of course, so does yellow. And I don't really necessarily want to spread out into different territories. So I'll go up here, I guess. And now we roll the die and see what neat stuff might happen. Oh look, it's a card. I got a force field with BKA, and I could put a colony token on a loyalty pledge. Okay, well. I've got a certain commitment to these pale blues. I feel like I have the hive already. I'm going to throw one there as well. I'm going to throw this card away because I've got the indication of why that's there already in place. Uh, this isn't going to, I think, push me over, is it? One. That's not me. Two. I think I had three before, but I'm at three, which is equal to yellow, so I don't have it yet. But a quick push into an area like this and I'll get it, which means yellow has to improve their position there. I'm going to load this one up.